Right, I've managed to uh, get my uh, primer here. Now, uh, what I've done is uh, I've made sure that the uh, the centre here won't arc across, so we've got enough space to uh, put the uh, secondary in. Now, uh, I'm thinking that as long as I've got like a, a safety gap, which is smaller than than the distance between these coils I think it's ten of them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hopefully tens enough as well the uh, so uh, I, I really want to uh, start getting first light out of it now I've had a little bit of a setback on the coil so I'll just show you that now what's happened with my coil is the uh, the tape at the top the, uh, the, the glue in between the two layers that I uh, turned around uh, came unstuck or uh, didn't have enough pressure and uh, it started to unwind slightly and the, the more I tried to uh, uh, fix it the uh, <laughs> the more it uh, spindled down so uh, what I've done is uh, I've rewound it down to that point and spindled it onto that little bob in there and what I'm going to do uh, this time is, as soon as I've got it uh, uh, up and running and taped up at the top, I'm going to uh, varnish it to make sure it stays in place this time. And then uh, hopefully I could be looking at uh, doing this spark gap and get it all for uh, lightning coming out the top. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a Tesla coil now. Thanks for watching.